In May 2004, when Cecile Como heard the news that her breast cancer had returned for a second time, the bad news turned worse when her oncologist said she was out of options to treat her disease. My oncologist told me that they couldn't do nothing for me no more, that this was it. Um, I had reached the end. When her oncologist asked if she wanted to join a new clinical trial, Cecile didn't hesitate. When you have nothing to lose. I f for me, it was so important to try, to try anything and everything. Because that's what my, that was my way to fight back. I had no other way to fight back. The trial involved a new treatment for HER2 positive breast cancer in the form of a pill called Tycurb. It's now been approved by Health Canada for use in combination with an oral chemotherapy, capocytabine, for the treatment of patients with advanced or metastatic breast cancer whose tumors overexpress HER2 and who have progressed on a specific regimen of prior therapies. All women with breast cancer have different markers on their tumors and HER2 is a marker uh, of a particularly aggressive kind of breast cancer. It occurs in about 20% of all breast cancers and it makes the breast cancers grow faster and recur faster. Until about 10 years ago we had nothing to treat women with HER2 positive breast cancer. We got the drug Herceptin which has been a big uh, advance. Uh, but many patients' tumors become resistant to that drug. Now, uh, Tycurb will provide an alternative for these women when their tumors no longer respond to Herceptin. Tycurb is a targeted small molecule that works by getting inside the cancer cell and inhibits specific receptors which are involved in the growth and spreading of some cancers. Many breast cancer therapies are given intravenously or through a needle into the vein and to do that the patient has to come into the center and have that done. Um, I like to keep my patients as out of the cancer center as much as I can when they're on treatment and a pill is obviously very useful in that setting. Cecile has been very fortunate. Five years after joining the clinical trial, she spends her time volunteering both for the weekend and breast cancer and raising money for her granddaughter's diving club. She's planning a camping trip with her husband this year. People talk to me about birthdays and I'm just proud to say I've got another birthday and I want many more birthdays to come. For more information about breast cancer and treatment options, speak with your doctor.